There's a sound I now recognize as the steady beat of wings, and I look up to see the three dragons block out the stars as they descend. The earth shudders as they land in front of us. I'm guessing the wing leader wants a word. Karen steps forward, and Sigail follows, her wings tucked in tight, her golden eyes narrowing on me. And Darna scurries between Sigail's claws, galloping toward us. She skids the last dozen feet, paws digging into the ground to stop just in front of me, bringing her nose to my ribs as an urgent sense of anxiety fills my head, swamping me with feelings I know aren't mine. No broken bones. I stroke my hand over the bumpy ridges of her head. They're just bruised. You're sure? As sure as I can be. Trudging out here in the middle of the night is worth it to alleviate her anxiety. Yes, I want a word. What the hell kind of powers are you channeling to her? Zayden stares up at Tarn like he isn't... Tarn. Yep. Ballsy. Every muscle in my body locks. Sure that Tarn is about to torch Zayden for impudence. None of your business what I choose or do not choose to channel toward my rider. This is going well. He says... I heard him. He what? My eyebrows hit my hairline, and Andarna retreats to stand with the others. Dragons only talk to their riders. That's what I've always been taught. It's absolutely my business when you expect me to protect her. I got the message to you just fine, human. Taren's head swivels in that snake-like motion that puts me on alert. He's more than agitated. And I barely made it. She would have been dead if I'd been 30 seconds later. Seems like you had 30 seconds gifted to you. And I'd like to know what the fuck happened in there! Don't hurt him! He saved me! I've never seen someone so much as dare to speak to another rider's dragon, let alone yell at one. Especially not one as powerful as Tarn. We need to know what happened in that room. Zayden's dark gaze cuts through me like a knife for a millisecond before he glares back at Tarn. Do not dare to try and read me, human, or you'll regret it. Tarn's mouth opens, his tongue curling in a motion I know all too well. I move between the two and tilt my chin at Tarn. He's just a little freaked out. Don't scorch him. At least we agree on something. Sigail. In awe, I blink up at the navy blue dagger tail as Zayden moves to my side. She talked to me. I know. I heard. It's because they're mates. It's the same reason I'm chained to you. You make it sound so pleasant. It's not. But you and I are exactly that. Violence. We're chained. Tethered. You die, I die. So I damn well deserve to know how the hell you were under Seifert's knife one second and across the room in another. Is that the signet power you've manifested with Tern? Come clean. Now. Now. 